Welcome back everyone. I know it's been a little while and I just wanted to make this first video after a couple of weeks and tell you that for those of you who are following me on Twitter, you'll see that I'm still active. It's just I am being involved in a number of other projects. So what we're going to look at now is the most common issue I come across, which is where people are trying to get rid of special characters. So the backslash is one of the common uh, special characters because it's used as an escape character. And the other one that's used frequently is the question mark, which is a kind of alias for where object, etc. So with that, we're going to create a, a string and we're going to try and do a replace on the backslash first of all. So we're going to see how that reacts when we take a simple uh, replace character in this case um, we could use a whole string but we, we're going to use a, a small one which is just the the backslash and the result of this uh, replace is effectively going to fail because it's going to tell us that this is a special character and we can't do it so this is where most people end up you know on reddit or other things creating a, a nice little comment was saying, hey, how do I do this? And I see a lot of the responses are like, oh, you need to use regex. And I'm like, oh, regex is horribly complicated for beginners. And honestly, you can do it much easier. So if we just enclose it, we're using a bracket and two slashes. So we, we, we effectively tell it one slash, but we need double because it's an escape character. And as you can see, we can simply replace it that way. Uh, exactly the same principle can be applied to the other special characters as well. So just as an example, we're going to create the same exact style problem again, but this time we're going to use a question mark instead of a backslash. So we see how easily we were able to replace the backslash. Now we're just going to do the same with the question mark and the output should be pretty much the same as before. Easy problem solved, right? So now let's move on to the next problem, which we see quite common with um, syntax related issues. Uh, which is removing empty lines. So give you an example. Again, we're going to create a nice little string um, just for sample data. We're going to split it based on the uh, equal sign. And the equal sign in this case, we're going to put a couple of them in different places. So what we're going to have is potential empty lines or empty a couple of lines depending on what the content look like. So in our case, I'm going to deliberately generate uh, some randomness here that will have several empty lines in different places. So the question here is like, how do I get rid of those empty lines? Because I'm just going to push the content from here into the array with the split. And the result is that my array is going to have a couple of empty lines. Now there are several ways to do this. I counted three at least that are pretty well known ones. But here I can do it very, very simply. So you can see I've got my, where is it, four possibly, yeah, four empty lines. And what I'm going to do is just tell the array to filter by the array where the object has content. So we're just going to apply where object and we're going to encapsulate and we're going to filter on it. And the filter is basically everything. So the only thing that's not going to be returned is empty. So empty spaces are going to basically disappear and our array should now have only the content. And ta-da! See, that was relatively easy to solve, and you could obviously do that in an earlier step, so you don't need to do quite so many. Now, hopefully you found this video useful. If you do, um, go ahead, give us a thumbs up or a like. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.